If you're into competition shooting or even fast plinking, then you know the battle that can be fought with grip and recoil reduction. Well, today I've got a product that can help you out on both. This is the CZ Shadow 2 Palm Swell Gridlock Aggressive Brass Grip from Lock Grips. Let's get to work. Hey guys, Work here. Welcome back to Work the Trigger. Today we're going to be covering the CZ Shadow 2 Palm Swell Gridlock Aggressive Brass Grip from Lock Grips. Now, full disclosure up front, I did get these for a heavily reduced cost. Lock got a hold of me at the end of last year actually and talked to me a little bit about testing these out. I said sure because I had been looking into getting new grips for my Shadow 2 anyway, but with the season just ending, it's taken me up until now to be able to get enough trigger time on this gun to give you guys an idea of what I think of these grips. Now with steel frame or metal frame guns, one of the positive aspects of them is the ability to swap out your grip panels. Go more aggressive, less aggressive, thicker, thinner, lighter, heavier, whatever you want to do on your gun. The CZ Shadow 2, no exception. And being a relatively standard CZ75 grip cut, your availability of options is immeasurable. But for me, Lock has kind of placed themselves out in front of the pack. I tried other grips before, namely Cool Hands, which is a lower end G10 grip manufacturer. I have had some fitment issues with them and their texturing does seem to wear off a little bit quicker than some of the higher end ones. That being said, they are a great budget option. But if you're not concerned as much with budget, Lock is the place to go. And if you've got a Shadow 2 for competition and you're looking to increase both your weight and your grip, then these brass grips are where you want to be. Adding 9 ounces to the grip of your gun pulls that center of gravity back down into the hand portion, lower down below the barrel, helping to reduce felt recoil. And yes, the weight does help. But I'll say the biggest thing that I was impressed about with these is the texturing. Now the Shadow 2s come stock from the factory with metal grips. The stock grips are aluminum, and although they look fantastic, the grip that they provide is actually somewhat subpar, easily overshadowed by the majority of semi-aggressive G10 grips. I don't like the stock grips on a Shadow 2 that much. Not only do they not provide a lot of grip, but they're really really thin, like Paris Hilton in Simple Life Thin. And one of the things that you find out when you shoot these guns a lot is that thinner is not always better. Now, I'm not saying that we need to go wide track like the Pontiac Grand Prix. What I am saying is that contour grips that more fully fill out your grip will allow you to get a better grip on the gun, therefore more effectively controlling the recoil. So while yes, the lock grips do increase the weight, they also drastically improve the grip that you can get on the gun. So to go a little bit more into that, these are palm swell grips. So what that means is they are contoured to be wider than stock grips and to swell up here where the palms of your hands would be on the gun. They narrow back down, down here where your pinkies would be, and they narrow up here at the top so you can really get a nice squeeze on this central portion of the grip. Now, according to Locke's data, they measured the stock width of a Shadow 2 at 1.135 inches. They measured their palm swells here at 1.475 inches, meaning these palm swell grips are like 0.3 inches bigger than the stock grips. Now, I'm not shy about the size of my hands. I have medium-sized hands. I joke about them being laughingly small. Um, Anyway, I was hesitant to run palm swell grips for quite a while. All of the grips that I had gotten up until this had been just your standard flat or thin grips. And I will never go back to flat or thin grips. These palm swells fill out the grip so well that I can easily place the palm of my support hand on the back of this grip and actually place pressure on it squeezing the grip in between my grip rather than just sliding my palm along the side. Now one of the things that factors into that is the awesome texture that this thing has. When I saw it online, I wasn't really impressed by the texture. I, I feel like generally I can like look at a texture online and, and get an idea of whether it's going to be an aggressive texture or a relatively soft texture. Did not think this was going to be an aggressive texture. It is, and I love it. It's not overly aggressive uh, like the RTF2 texturing on the Gen 3 Glocks. It is aggressive enough that the first couple of times that I ran it, my hands were starting to rub a little bit. And, and though that sounds like it might be a bad thing, after a few more sessions, that pain went away, and now I've just got a really freaking good grip on my gun. Now, the base price of these comes in right at about $125 before tax and shipping and all that stuff, which would seem a little bit pricey until you look at the amount of machining that is actually done on these things. With very intricate little pyramid patterns in it and grip just practically everywhere, not to mention the consistency in them. These things fit like a glove and I've never seen anybody complain about the fit of lock grips. Now, if you don't like quite this much weight on your gun, they do have a decreased weight version of these that's hollowed out. They come in closer to like six and a half ounces and you are adding an extra $10 on that. So you're looking at about $135 for those. 
Now, what might be the benefit to that? If you're looking more for like a, a plinking gun or a carry gun, you're not quite as concerned, but you just want the extra grip and a little bit of extra weight, perfect use for that. If you are full speed ahead into competition though, this guy is where it's at. Now they do also sell ones that you can use with magwells. I run carry optics, so I can't have a magwell, so I don't care about that one. This is what I've got. And the last option is the color. This one is the raw brass color that you see here. They do also have Cerakoted black. I wish I had known that when I got mine. Uh, I love the look of the Cerakoted black ones. They are just, oh, it's just, uh, it's gorgeous. And, and I wish I had it. That being said, I've got no real problem with this. And the black Cerakote does add another $10 to your bill, again, bringing it up to about $135. Now they do come with the Torx screws and the O-rings that go in between the Torx screws and the grips here to get everything nice and tight. That's a real benefit. The stock screws that come with these are Phillips and they're not very good. Uh, they rust really easily. I don't know the coating that's on these Torx, but they don't look just raw black oxide. Plus they also have matching mag releases, which is pretty cool. So why would you go with this over something like a G10? grip. Again, the biggest reason that you would go this direction over a G10 grip is weight. You are not going to be adding nine ounces to the bottom of your gun with G10 grips. You're not even going to be adding an ounce to the bottom of your gun with G10 grips. They can provide the texture, they can provide the better geometry for your grip, but you're not going to get that weight. So consider the G10s like a 75-80% of the benefit and then with the brass ones, you get that extra 20 to 25%. I really wasn't sure about this upgrade. I ran an SP-01 for a long time with G10 grips. I ran this for the entire last year with G10 grips and I am converted. Um, I love the brass grips now. The only downside really, other than the price, because again, it is a little spicy. The only downside really is that they're cold like really cold. Um, when you're running a metal gun in winter and you've now got metal grips, it does increase the amount of cold that you're grabbing onto. But I'll tell you, you're not holding the gun for that long really and the benefits that you get from it way outweigh that. And if you're crafty, you can actually work out like a grip sock that you can run to be able to fix that. So all in all, again, although a little bit spicy on the price, the brass grips from Locke are freaking great. With excellent grip ergonomics, great texturing and hefty bit of weight that's all going to work together to increase your recoil reduction. I hands down recommend these things. I just recommend changing the grips in general anyway. And if you are looking for something that's going to give you a lot of those benefits, but without the exorbitant price, look at their G10 grips. They are amazing as well. I ran a pair of G10 lock grips on this before these. I've got a set of G10 lock grips on my PO1 and I probably won't go back to what I was running before. So thanks guys for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If you're interested in some of these lock grips, do me a favor and click the link down below. If you like this video and you found it useful, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like it and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you like what we do here on the channel and you want to help out a little bit, head over to worktheTrigger.com. Over there, you're going to find coupon codes, affiliate codes, and links to our merch. If you're looking for something a little bit different flavor, head over to WTT3D.com. Over there, you're going to find our 3D printed gun accessories. We did just start a channel membership on the channel here. Once we get enough members, probably in the 10 to 15 range, we'll be doing a giveaway of a Wheeler Fat Wrench. So if you want to help out a little bit, you can join us, become a channel member, and look forward to some giveaways. Thanks guys, I appreciate every one of you and until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work.